Uh, question nineteen. They tell you that day is a circle. Uh, there is a circle with center C. So there is a circle with center which is called C, and then the coordinates is A two. Uh, the radius is R. And then uh, there is a straight line, this line, and then very important, it is a tangent. So from a uh, point, so we have this kind of straight line, or it may be like this, I'm not sure. But uh, the line is kx minus 5y minus 21u0. So uh, we... That's the only information we have. And then find the equation of C in terms of R. Uh, in terms of R, this one is quite straightforward. So uh, x minus 8, the distance, any point x, y here. The distance between x, y and a2 is equal to R squared. R Yep, this is part A, the first part already. We already finished half of it. And then we need to express R in terms of K. A very important tangent, that means imply there is only one intercept point. So tangent, which imply only one intercept point. Which imply only one root for a simultaneous equation. And then kx minus 5y minus 21. So uh, what we are going to do, we are going to have very troublesome calculation in order to find out the relation between r squared and k. So uh, we are going to start now. I need more space. So x minus a squared. And then y is equal to kx uh, minus 21 over 5. We are going to solve the simultaneous by substitution. So Uh, we express it like this and our final target is write down how many x squared plus how many x plus how many equal to zero. And we know that the delta should be equal to zero because there is only one root so that we can solve the relation between how many k or k is equal to how many r squared something like that. So continue. X squared minus sixteen x plus sixty four, and then we have plus k squared over twenty five.
so we finish until this step then we can use uh since only one intercept which imply delta is equal to zero so 16 plus 62 k over 25 square Uh, for simplicity, extract in the first bracket here, we can extract 2 first. So if we extract it, it will become 2 square and then 8 plus 31k over 25 square. So later on, 2 square and 4 will be cancelled out. So this is minus 4. So this is cancel out. And if you want to know that I really hate fractions, so I designed it to both sides times 25 square. So after that, this one that means time 25 inside only because everything is within square. So it is 200. And then uh 25 square here distribute to two bracket each of them time 25 so this become 25 plus k square okay after that don't forget our target is r square only you don't need to expand to four brackets are uh, four terms you just need to expand our uh, two bracket with r without r so this one is uh, and then plus 25 r squared times 25. Uh, just keep this out here. The whole term, you don't need to expand it. Later on, we remove 25 and also this item together. Uh, all the terms here can be divided by 25 so so after that uh go back to our question They ask us to express R squared in terms of K. We successfully express R squared in terms of K only. So this is our target in part A and then we already finish it. Uh, now we are going to continue in part B. Uh, I copied down the part A answer already and then part B they tell us that R pass through this point. So, which mean that uh, for k x minus 5 y minus 21 is 0. Uh, no matter you know how to solve a or b, you should try this part because this one is 
is given that when x equal to 18, then y will equal to 39. So you can lock the value of k. 18k minus 5 times 39. And then, so 5 times 39 plus 21 divided by 18. We got 12. Okay, uh, before that, we don't know what is k, but we know k is 12 already. If you can solve uh, part A, it gives you the relation between k and r, which means with k, then you should be able to solve r. Uh, in order to get method mark, you should try it. So, part B uh, continue is R square 64 times 12 square oops not K square but uh, 12 square so R square, if you use calculator, it gives you 25. That means R is equal to 5, or R equal to negative 5 rejected. So R is equal to 5. We finish B1 already, and then B2. So uh, this is the most difficult question, uh, or pass in this question. It's even difficult to understand what it's asking. First, L cut y asset at point e and then you can easily find out that l should be something like this with a positive loop, slope and then the intercept is negative 21 over 5 so they say this is point e f be a point such that c is the inscribed circle of d e f what is asking here first uh you have a circle this is our tangent, don't forget it. The center is C. That means A is 2. And then uh, there is a point D here. Because point D they say is 1839. So 1839 somewhere here. So what is asking is C should be an inscribed circle. This is an inscribed circle of a triangle. That means a triangle surround it. So if we try to use this as an inscribed circle, we use two more tangents to connect it. What they say is this is point F. F be a point such that the circle is the inscribed circle of this triangle. The red circle is the inscribed circle of this triangle so they try to tell you the position of f is here and then they ask is triangle d e f obtuse angle or some other angle acute angle something like that so to do so you need to check one angle two angle three angles are uh, they all um smaller than 90 degree or one of them is larger than 90 degree is our concern uh try to get all the information we have first we know that uh this one sent our uh, center to the tangent should be perpendicular and the radius is five because they lead us to calculate this this is five we know the exact position of C, we know exact position of E, and also D, which imply that if we want, we can find out how long it is. We can find out how long it is also. And don't forget, this is uh, based on the property of circle. This is angle from exterior point. So, this triangle and this triangle should be the same congruence. It's about property of ten, uh, tension from external point. So this angle and this angle are equal. Similarly, this angle and this angle are equal. Now, a very clear thing is just now what we said, 
if we want, we can find out how long is this line. That means by basic trigonometry, we can find out the angle here. If we can find out theta, if we can find out fine, then basically we can find all three angles here because this is two theta, this is two fine, and by the angle sum of triangle, we can find the rest. So that's what we are going to do. The first mission is find out EC. So, uh, Point E is 0, negative 21 over 5, and then point C is 8, 2. So EC is equal to 64, and then plus 2, plus 21 over 5, so, C. so uh, I should be square. EC square is equal to 2, 5, 6, 1, divided by 25. EC square over 2, 5, 6, 1, divided by 5 here. So uh, what we want is theta, so sine angle C E D uh, that means theta here is equal to 5 divided by E C 25 over square root 2 5 6 1 our target is shift this one and then it's equal to 29.6 something degree so we finish half and then we finish another half is okay so another half is talking about uh, fine so we use this line and this line we get CD first C is 82, uh, D is 18.39. So C, D squared is equal to X difference, 10 squared plus uh, 37 squared. One, four, six, nine. So C, D is equal to square root one, four, six, nine. After that, our target is sine fine. That means angle C D B. Ah, uh, sorry, C D E. And then that means fine in our graph. So this is a uh, five divided by C D. So it's equal to 7.4958576 degree. So uh it makes sense because our CD is quite long, it's talking about uh over 30 something. So after that, uh that means we want to clone crew now. Two feet angle F E D is equal to two theta. That mean this is around twenty nine point six times two. It's around fifty nine point two. And then our uh, angle F D E is talking about two times angle C D E. So it's around 14.99 something degree. Therefore, the last angle DFE is equal to 180 degree minus 59.2 degree and then minus 14.99 degree. So it's equal to 105.8 uh, something degree approximately definitely is larger than 90 degree so it is uh the question is asking is that obtuse angle so triangle DEF 
is obtuse angle. Triangle. And then we finish the question. Whoops. <laughs>